In today's video, I'm showing you my top free apps for music for the Galaxy Watch 4. Hey everyone, oh, hang on one second, let me just pull these out. Just listening to some music uh, on my earbuds. Music is such a huge part of my life, probably your life as well. And uh, what an awesome topic to talk about my top free music apps for the Galaxy Watch 4 in this video. And real quick, I want to let you know that this video is actually part of a series of uh, Galaxy Watch 4 app videos that I'm releasing weekly. Uh, top apps such as productivity, games, health apps, and those are all going to be linked down in the video description below if you want to check out other apps uh, for the Galaxy Watch 4. But today I am focusing on my top music apps. So without further ado, let's jump into them. So the first music app I want to tell you about is Spotify. And Spotify is a great music app, in my opinion, for listening to music and podcasts uh, on the Galaxy Watch 4. You have two options for Spotify, the free plan or the Spotify premium plan. And the differences between whether you're paying or not, uh, if you're using Spotify free, uh, with hooking it up to your watch. You can still use Spotify, the free plan, with the Galaxy Watch 4, but you're going to be limited in its features, and Spotify free also features a lot of commercials, ads, so you can listen to music, um, you can put together playlists, things like that, but you don't have uh, a lot of the capabilities of the premium program. If you're listening to music, there's going to be ads in between the different tracks. Um, we can go into the different functions that you're going to have. Essentially, you're just going to be able to use the watch as a remote to play whatever music you want or podcasts from your phone or device that you've got it linked to. Now, Spotify Premium allows you to do lots of cool stuff. You can specifically play what song you want when you want whereas with a free program you're kind of limited to just skipping to the next track and it may not necessarily be the song that you want to hear uh, also the Spotify premium you're not going to have those ads and it gives you the capabilities where you can download music playlists and podcasts right to the watch so you can leave your phone at home you've also got volume control uh, and you can actually play the music right from the watch if you want to hook it up to Bluetooth headphones or you can use the speaker which isn't bad if you're in a quiet setting you can use the speaker right on the galaxy watch 4 to play your podcast or music right out of the speaker on the watch which is very convenient now if you're interested i've done a full more in-depth detailed video on using spotify with the galaxy watch 4 and i will link to that video down in the video description of this video below if you want to find out more in depth on using Spotify, a great music app on the Galaxy Watch 4. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker's our little hidden robot, and he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. So if you happen to spot Tinker, who looks just like this guy on my shirt, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up somewhere during this video and be the first person to let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below and I will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as I'll give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So the next app I want to tell you about is Pandora Music and Podcasts. Very similar to Spotify but it's a great alternative. If you're not a fan of Spotify or if you're looking for uh, a different app that kind of does the same thing, Pandora might be the answer for you. Pandora has two options where you can do the free program, you can do the premium uh, program. With the free program, you can search for stations uh, or artists that you really like, and then it gives you the options where you can give them thumbs up, thumbs down, and then based on songs that you're giving thumbs up or thumbs down, it's going to create more of a playlist or stations for you that you really enjoy based on how you're kind of ranking different songs on the device. Now with the free version of Pandora, you're going to have ads in between songs and you can choose to skip songs if you like. The Pandora uh, Premium is going to give you a little bit more options. You can search and play specific songs uh, as well as share playlists and also download music right to the watch and then listen ad free. So Pandora would be my next recommendation as far as a great music app for the Galaxy Watch 4. So the next music streaming service app I want to tell you about is YouTube Music, also kind of comparable to Spotify and Pandora. 
YouTube Music kind of has a little bit of a different spin to it. You can stream over 70 million songs, plus playlists, uh, music videos, and more using YouTube Music. For the Watch Companion app, unfortunately, you can't do any of those music videos. Um, but you can go in, you can create playlists. If you uh, pay for the premium YouTube Music, you can download your playlists of music right to the Watch. I'm going to jump into YouTube Music, and when you jump in, it shows you here all these preset playlists. You're going to have to make sure that you are on the same account that you have YouTube Music on your phone. You can do that by going into Settings, and then under Settings, going down to Switch Account, make sure that you have the right accounts uh, set up. You can also go into Downloads, and you can set this. It's going to tell you how much space you have available, and then if you want to download 50, 100, 200 songs, um, you also have the options here where you can download over Wi-Fi and clear downloads from that point. Uh, this is just under settings, but just trying to show you some of the options here with YouTube Music. Uh, you can then uh, sync it up the watch with your playlist that you've got set up in YouTube Music on your phone or device. You can see I created this 2022 Jeff's Wake Up playlist. In order for this to show up on my YouTube Music, I did have to restart my phone and make sure that it was synced up uh, with my watch. I'm sorry, not restart my phone. I had to restart the watch uh, and then go back into YouTube Music. That seemed to sync it up. You'll see then that if I scroll to the top, this shows my downloads. I was able to just download this particular playlist. Uh, it gave me a little down arrow, and then I just downloaded this playlist. It was a short playlist of just four songs, so it probably took about a minute to download, not even that. And then from this point, I've got my control options for play. Uh, I can skip to the next song. I've also got volume control here as well. So these are all different options you get with YouTube Music. I do like YouTube Music in the sense that uh, on the app on my phone, you get the option to uh, listen to the audio song. And let me jump over there. So I'll show you. This is one of the playlists I put together in my Wake Up playlist, just as an example. And if we jump into one of the songs like Ed Sheeran, uh, with shivers. Not only can you listen to the song, but then it's got the convenient tab right up top where you can then go into the music video, which I think is really convenient. And a lot of the songs that have music videos, it's available to do that on YouTube Music. The other reason why I kind of like using YouTube Music is you can pull up songs that maybe you've seen on YouTube that have a file uh, or that have a YouTube video of songs that might not be on a service like Spotify or Pandora because it might be a parody song or something like that. A lot of those songs are available in YouTube Music and you can add those to your playlists and download those to uh, the Galaxy Watch 4 in YouTube Music. So another great alternative for listening to music on the watch. And if you're enjoying at least one of the apps that I have talked about in this video, take a second, please smash that like button as it helps out this video and I greatly appreciate it. I want to show you guys this next app, which is iHeartRadio, and then it's music and podcasts. Essentially, iHeartRadio allows you to stream and listen to top radio stations, news, sports, music, talk, and comedy. Um, it's best if you download the app for your phone or device. Uh, go ahead and uh, go into the app on your phone or device, and then select your favorite radio stations, and then sync that up, install this app on the Galaxy Watch 4, any stations that you make your favorites then will show up in your favorites list. The app here, we're listening to American Top 40 with Ryan Seacrest. Kind of fun to listen to. If I tap at the top of the screen, I see these dots which take me into the menus. I can see now playing for you, recently played. And then I can jump into my library which is going to show me any of those radio stations I made my favorites. So you can see my saved radio stations. We've got KISS FM Los Angeles, Evolution. Uh, those are national radio stations. Then we've got local stuff in Milwaukee here. So FM 106, country station. I can just tap on it. It's going to start streaming that radio station using my phone, which you're going to need to have with you. Uh, but then it's sending it to my watch. So I've got volume controls on my watch. Uh, and then I can start and stop the radio station. But this is another great way to control what radio stations you want to listen to. Maybe you're 
going for a walk or a run or uh, just want to have these accessible and then anytime I can just go back to that menu go back to my favorites and uh, in addition to that you can create playlists and things like that of different types of music so you choose an artist that you like and then you've got those options available as well iHeart has their free uh, version which is going to contain ads so typically before listening to a station I'm going to have to listen to a quick ad and then it brings me to that radio station um, with the uh, iHeart Radio premium that they have that eliminates commercials so you choose what you want but it, the app itself iHeart Radio is free uh, it's free to create an account and another great option for different music and radio stations to listen to on your Galaxy Watch 4. And you can find out more tips and tutorials on using your Galaxy Watch 4, such as my top free watch faces and 18 things to know and do first with your Galaxy Watch 4. That is all going to be linked down in this video description below. So the next app I want to show you is called Shazam. You may or may not be familiar with Shazam, but it is a music discovery app. Uh, that uses the microphone inside the Galaxy Watch 4 and if you've got a song playing in the background maybe you're in the car and you hear it on the radio or you're out and about and uh, maybe you're shopping and you just hear this great song and you want to know who sings it or what the name of that song is this is going to use the microphone listen to a couple of seconds of that song and then use the connected database to uh, tell you what song and artist that is I'll give you an example here so it's using the microphone and it was able to tell that the song I was playing was uh, Heat Waves by Glass Animals and it's just that quick to be able to identify what song you're listening to and then from that point now you have identified what that song is you can go and download it later or set it up in a playlist on one of your favorite music streaming services that is the beauty of using Shazam now from that point you can swipe to the left and then you can Shazam again it's great that this is a free app and the opportunity to just identify those songs is such a great feature. So the next app I want to tell you about is called Wearcasts. Wearcast is a podcast app and it specializes in everything podcasts. So if you're looking for an alternative to listening to music and you love listening to podcasts, Wearcasts might be the app for you. It's an alternative to using something like Spotify or Pandora that also allow you to listen to podcasts. But what I really like about using Wearcasts um, is that you can uh, you have the ability to download podcasts to the Galaxy Watch 4 for free, whereas services like Spotify, in order to download music or podcasts to the watch, I found that you need to have a premium plan. As of the recording of this video, Wearcast does that for free. So I can go in and uh, just as an example, I like listening to the Clark Howard podcast. It's a financial uh, consumer podcast that I listen to. And you can see the different uh, episodes that are listed here. I can click on one of those episodes and then play it. It gives you all the podcast information. Um, you've also got controls where you can control the speed of listening to the podcast. If you download the companion app on your phone, I'll show you an example here uh, where I just went into the app. This is the Wearcasts app on my uh, Google Pixel device. Uh, what I was able to do is uh, search for that particular podcast and then it brings up that podcast. I can tap on the podcast. It's going to show me all those different episodes. And then right over here is an icon where I can download whatever episodes I want right to the watch. That's going to uh, sync it up with my Galaxy Watch 4. And then if I'm going for a run, a walk, or if I am without internet, or I just want to leave my phone at home, but I want to listen to that podcast, I now have that podcast downloaded to the watch that is one of the great strengths about using the Wearcasts podcast app for your Galaxy Watch 4. So let's talk about listening to audio files such as MP3s that you may actually have the physical uh, MP3 file that you want to use uh, and download to your watch for listening. You don't want to use a music streaming service. That's where you can play the music using an app like Music for Galaxy Watch that you can download. We can go into that and then I can see here 
whatever song it is that I'm playing. I have controls where I can advance, go back. I have volume controls. I can see all my different music downloaded on the watch by swiping up. I have commands like shuffle, repeat. I can go to my library. I can see what's in the queue as far as different songs. Uh, so you've got all sorts of different options there. Basic music player app for your Galaxy Watch 4. Uh, as far as an alternative to this, there is another app that I would recommend. So another alternative for listening to audio files on your watch is this Nav Music, which is a Wear OS offline music and media player. And if we go into this, I can see all the different songs that I currently have or audio files that are on the watch. I can bring up the menu by just going to the top, pushing that down arrow. I can see things. I can go into settings. I can see different playlists that I might have. Here's uh, Jeff's awesomeness uh, that I created, and then I just put one song in there. But you can put all sorts of different songs. You can shuffle them. You can just swipe to the right to go back a menu. So you've got all sorts of different options, and this is a great basic music or audiophile player for your Galaxy Watch 4. So if you have physical audio uh, or MP3 files that you want to put onto the Galaxy Watch 4, I am currently in the Galaxy wearable app. And from this point, you can go to Watch Settings. And under Watch Settings, you can scroll down to this Manage Content for Music and Images. And then from here, you can add tracks to your, uh, to your watch. Now, in Trying this myself, if I try to add one of my audio MP3s, I uh, try to connect to the watch. It says couldn't add tracks. And I don't know if this is because I don't have a Samsung phone. I have a Google Pixel phone. I've gone into the settings on my watch. I've turned on all the different permissions uh, under settings and then going to apps and permissions. I've turned everything on. It still will not transfer music files, but you're supposed to be able to add tracks of music using the Galaxy wearable app. Now, if that works for you, great. As an alternative, I do have another app that I would recommend. So the other file transfer app that I would uh, suggest that you download is this free Nav Explorer, and you can get it for both your Android phone as well as your uh, Galaxy Watch 4 and when you go ahead and download that app it has no space between Nav and Explorer. Uh, essentially when you go on your phone this is how you're going to transfer those music files. Uh, it shows you the internal storage. It's a split screen of what's currently on your phone and it probably is going to take you into the main internal storage here. Down here you're going to connect to your watch. I found it easiest to just go to the menu bar up top and that brings up this menu and then you can connect with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I just connected with Bluetooth and then you'll notice says here connected over Bluetooth. This is all the storage that's currently on my watch and you'll see there's those files um, on internal storage. So if you do have music files, they might be under a certain folder in this instance under my music folder. I've got two music files here. I've got music currently on the internal storage of the watch. And uh, I can see here that I've got an MP3. If I want to transfer one of these songs, so I've already got high hopes, but let's say I was going to do this best day of my life, I can uh, tap on this song to highlight it. And then now you'll see that there is this download or transfer arrow to the internal storage. I'm going to go ahead and click that arrow. Uh, we're going to just give this a little bit of time to see if it's going to transfer the music. And it took about 30 seconds or so, but now you can see that Best Day of My Life uh, has been transferred and it is on my watch. Now, I didn't just tap on this song. I actually kind of held a, a long tap to highlight it, and that's what highlighted it, and that's what allowed me to get that download arrow to send it over to my watch. Now, let's jump over to the Galaxy Watch 4. I can go into my Galaxy Watch 4, and so I can find the Nav Explorer app that I have installed on the watch. Uh, I transfer that to the music folder, so if we go to the music folder here, here's High Hopes, and look, there's the best day of my life uh, music file. I can now use uh, either my uh, Galaxy music app or I can use that nav music app to go ahead and add this to a playlist or go ahead and play that music but this nav explorer app is a great way to move media files from your phone to your watch 
and from your watch to your phone. Uh, same thing with any audio files. Uh, if you do voice recordings or anything like that, which I've also included in another video, which will be linked down below, um, this is a great app to transfer those files from one device to another. So which music app is your favorite? Is there one that I missed talking about in this video? Let me know down in the comments section below. And now that you've learned all about my top music apps, if you want to get more out of using your Galaxy Watch 4, You'll probably want to learn about my top productivity apps and I've done a whole video on that and that's going to be popping up here in the cards. There'll be a video link at the end of this video so be sure to click on that so that you can check out those apps as well. My name is Jeff and as always I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make everyday awesome and I will see you in the next video.